We start the hamburger by um, sauteing the onion, as you see, so it's not so dry and harsh in the hamburger. It takes about maybe a minute, minute and a half, and that's about a minute and a half. And I'm going to shut off the stove. To save me from standing here, I'll pull it to one side like this. And then even if the bottom just colors a little bit, it's not going to be the, the whole lot. And you just leave it like that because we need it cooled off. So we remove it from the stove so it will uh, cool off quickly. Now that we're back, the onion has cooled off enough that we can work with it in the ground meat. So we just add it. And while I was waiting, I started uh, grating the garlic. What I usually do, take out a little bit of meat and then I wipe the pan with it. You see? Use every little crumb. And now I'll finish grating the last of the little garlic. This is a small piece. I should have left a bigger piece, but it doesn't matter. Don't worry, my finger has been so used to grating uh, garlic that um, I don't grate any of my finger in here. <laughs> it's gotten tough over the years, so that's it. And then the egg. I usually, like I said, I crack it over on the counter instead of on the edge of the pot. See? There goes the egg. Now we squeeze the... Oops! We squeeze the bun, which I will do without you watching me. And as you see, like we're going to squeeze out all of it. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so now I put um, the buns here after squeezing them out. Here's the water I'll add now. I'll add the salt. The black pepper. A little of the red paprika. Parsley. And now I mix them all together. Um, some people use gloves. I don't. I'm married and I started the cooking because I never did anything before. I felt disgusted touching it, but you know, as the years go on and you get used to the cooking, it's too much bother to putting gloves on constantly, taking it off, putting it on, because if you forgot to get this or you forgot to get that, because I don't usually put everything out like I do here on the videos. I just add because I know how much uh, roughly uh, I have a little teaspoon in my uh, salt and pepper and all my stuff, so I just know how much to put into each of the recipes that I make. So I don't uh, really measure. I'm only measuring now because I want to have you do it to the taste that I make my stuff, and like my mom made it with my little fixing, but mostly it's all of her recipes. Now that we're all finished mixing this together, what I actually do is I put it in the fridge and let it sit for half an hour. And uh, But before I do that, I take out a little bit, you see, just that much. And then what I do is uh, I make it into as if I was making a little hamburger. And uh, just 
And then now I'm going to try this out, uh, fry it. And then this way I will know um, if I put enough spices in it and it doesn't need anything else. This is the pan I use to uh, saute the onions. There's no sense uh, washing it because it had onions in it and it's not dirty. And it's got a little bit of oil in there that um, will help this little hamburger fry. And then I could see you know, if I need to add anything to it. So, let me see. It sticks a little bit because, you know, I used up all the oil, but it doesn't matter. You know, fry. Could add just a little bit of oil to this. See? Oh, there's going to be the smoke alarm. I hope it doesn't go off, but anyway, here. It's not going to take that long. See? I think it's cooked in the middle. So there. Now I'm going to taste it and let's see if uh, the others need more salt or pepper. Okay, here's the little hamburger. Mmm. Is it ever good? It doesn't need no salt. It need no pepper. But that's it. So, be back in a bit. Um, I want to explain this hamburger is a meatloaf type. It's a full course dinner with potato, max beans. So uh, if you want to try it out for one night for your family, I'd be very happy to hear from you and have you tell me what you thought of it. Now, that's it. Um, it's going in the fridge for about a half an hour, like I said, and then we will be back and we will do the rest of the recipe. Just made a little bit of roux. Going to put it in here. Let's see, it thickens it up and it gives it a beautiful flavor. And it goes really well with the meatloaf burgers. That's it. As you see, it's all cooked. So I don't use a scooper. I just know how much to get from the first one that I try and I'm sure you will get it. What I do is I go in the bowl and take about it this much. You see? Enough to cover all my fingers. And then I put it into my left hand. And then I'll just roll it around as if I'm making a snowball. See? Like that. And then uh, I take a little bit of the breadcrumb. And very lightly. I don't want too much on here. Just very light. And then what I do is I take my hand and I press down. Like that. Not too flat not too uh, high. Just like that. See? I don't make them too big because it looks better when they're a little bit smaller. So, see, they're like big as my hand. Palm of my hand. See? Maybe yeah, I'll put it on this and then you can see. That's about it. It's not very thick. Maybe, maybe like your fingers fingers thickness. So there's one. I'll make another one to show you. And just take enough like that. Like scoop it up. Like that. It covers all your fingers there. Put it in the middle of your palm. And then roll like a snowball. See I can feel that smaller than the other one. Once you do one or two you'll feel it. So I'm just going to add a little bit more to it. So they'll be about the same size. See? You have a nice smooth snowball. Take some breadcrumb and sprinkle it as if you're putting salt on it. You see? Press down. A little bit more in the middle. 
turn it around, do the seam on this side, like that. And now you can see it's about the finger's thickness. But don't make it bigger than the finger. Make it at least a little bit smaller, but not bigger, because um, you don't want it uh, not cooking in the middle, and you don't want it too thick. Because this is like a dinner hamburger, it's not going into a bun, okay? So there you are. I have 12 regular size and I have two smaller ones for my little grandkids there here for supper. And um, I always like to make them one a little bit smaller just for the two of them. So this is it. Now I put it into the oil and fry it. Okay, I put the two little ones in for the girls and uh, two regular sizes, like don't crowd the pan. Just put in enough oil in the pan that it reaches half the thickness of the hamburger. And then uh, do not turn it until um, one side is done. This is um, frying under medium and I put it in when the oil was hot and then um, move the bottom a little bit so it doesn't stick there. I know they say when the oil is hot enough it doesn't stick but hamburger does and uh, just fry it until one side is nice and golden and then turn that. So there you go. Looking good. Okay. If you uh, cook it the way I tell you, then there won't be any pink left in the hamburger. See? You don't need to re-cook it in the oven. That just kills the hamburger. So just try and do it the way I told you. So just do it this way. That's it. Okay, so here we are. Tonight's dinner is the Hungarian hamburger or um, Meatloaf patties. So bon appetit. And uh, we shall see you the next time. Bye for now. Emlékeim, hogy drágák nekem.